it's 20 past 8 on Monday. It's Bank Holiday Monday today. It's the um, 26th of August. Um, I am off to the car boot sale today. There are um, seven long bank holidays around here. There's always one at Easter Compton, but that's never very good on a bank holiday, so I don't tend to bother. I'm reliably informed that Clifton's on today. Now, I haven't been to Clifton yet this year. I don't think I went last year either. So I don't know if I might take that one in, but I'm definitely going to Whitchurch. Now, Whitchurch starts at 12. I think little Josh is coming with me. Um, I'm not 100% sure, I need to check that. But but yeah, so that's my plan today, is to pack in an extra cheeky car boot sale. I have listed two bags full. Those two there, those two bags full are um, from yesterday's car boot. There's still a pile over there waiting to be done. I did get through quite a lot of that yesterday. I got through quite a lot of it while I was waiting for the vlog to upload last night. So, um, so yeah, I'm feeling like we've accomplished. I will have to go to the office at some point. That doesn't have to be today because it's bank holiday. You get an extra day's postage for that. So, so yeah, that's today's plan. Natalie, no, Anthony's coming home to do the morning dog walk. So that's what everybody here is waiting for. There's Kaiki. There's Molly Moo. And somewhere over there, there's Buddy. Everybody's waiting for Anthony to come home and start their day. I'm going to watch Karen's weekly vlog, I think it is, that's waiting in my queue. And then I'm going to get up and get dressed and maybe list the rest of that stuff before I go out. Maybe. Maybe. Want to be on the vlog? Say good morning vlog. Say good morning vlog. No kisses? Nah. Sneaky kiss. <laughs> In a change of plan, we have Lex coming to join us for the car boot. Yay! She's feeling a little bit fragile, I think, after Cardiff cried yesterday. Feeling a bit fragile, babe? Hello. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? I'm okay. And look, hang on. Oh, there, there's really... us. I think there's us. Is that us? Yeah. Yeah, that's well, us. Well, well. We are just arrived at Witch Church. It's pretty big. Um, you can't really get a good idea of it, but it's pretty huge. And there's Lex and Josh. And we're going to buy loads of shit. Loads of stuff. Not actual shit. It's three inches and goes large letter. <laughs> if it's three inches and goes large letter, it's all Josh's.
done as much of the car boot as I can, but I'm beginning to feel the effects of the heat. I could feel my head going a bit swimmy. I'm very, very burgundy as usual. It's the problem with this one is that it, I mean, obviously it's in the middle of a field, but it's there's absolutely no shelter, no shade at all. And because it's an afternoon one, you're right out in the midday sun. The morning ones I can cope with a bit better because by the time it starts to get hotter, you're nearly done and you're nearly finished. So um, I've come back to the car. Lex and Josh are still poking around. They're younger and fitter than me and they're, um, they've got more stamina. So they're still having a rummage. But I've got a trolley full of stuff. Um, you see my trolley in the back there? Absolutely full. Quite pleased. I bought a pair of, um, a pair of roller boots, which I said I wasn't going to buy anymore. Uh, but they were only two quid and they were in really good condition. I got a whole pile of lemony snickets for two pounds. So that was a snip. Um, various bits and bobs I've bought. I'm pleased with what I've got. So bear in mind this is just a bonus car boot sale on the bank holiday. I'm pleased with the stuff I've bought. And um, we did bump into um, somebody who watches, watches me on, on YouTube. Eddie. I'm pr pretty sure his name was Eddie. <laughs> um, so it was nice to meet you. We haven't seen Jesse. I don't know if Jesse's here today or not, but we haven't seen him. But, um, but yeah, it's been fun, but God, it's hot. Really, really hot. So I'm going to sit here. I'm in the back seat of the car. If you're wondering, if you're wondering why this, I'm in the back seat because the there is shade in the back and there was no shade in the front. So I thought, well, let's sit here and wait for Lex and Josh. I'd get in the back and sit in the shade like a sensible person. So uh, yeah, I'm going to sit here. I've got a book. I've got a drink. I've got my fan. I'm 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 good to sit here quite comfortably while they potter about. And then I'm going to suggest a trip to the pub. I think. We haven't had lunch, so that seems like a perfectly reasonable plan to me. We are in the pub for lunch. Lex is very middle class. She's got a Mediterranean mixed grill with focaccia <laughs> and tzatziki and something brown. What's the brown? Um, lamb kofkas, mm -hmm. chicken and sweet potato and tzatziki and hummus. And feta. And that's that's and the most middle class lunch I've ever seen. <laughs> and this, this is not this is common as Mark. Yes. And Josh has got um, a really... Got an amazing seats. looking mix grill. That does look grill. delightful. That is, yeah. Show us your mix grill face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like a bit of And meat. I've got um, like the it. ultimate burger because, you know, healthy eating and all that shit. And whatever the fuck these are. But these look good. I can't remember what they were, but they look good. They're chicken and bacon. something bites. Bacon chicken and chicken bites. bites. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Nom nom nom. Um, scarf clip. Not particularly nice, but that'll go in a job lot. Um, that. Bit of photo toy from Filigree Back, that's probably Czechoslovakian, looking by the Filigree style. Oh god, really? Okay. <laughs> Jewelry teaching okay. with Lex. Um, that's just a little shitty little clip on the thing. Yeah, it's not an exciting brooch and it's broken, but that'll just go in a lot. It's a cute little bow. So, not particularly exciting scarf pin. Again, that'll go job lot. Um, not particularly. Me? I think I'm gonna. Don't you? <laughs> oh That's terrifying. Ta -da! We couldn't okay. persuade Lex to get into the roller boots, so we got Nat in them instead. <laughs> Nat, see your scared face? No. <laughs> Come on. No. I could work quite similar to my scared face right now. Lex is having a panic attack because it was a spider. Well, in fairness, there were two. There were two spiders. And one of them landed on me, nearly. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. It didn't land on you, but it didn't land on you. It didn't touch you. Hey, Moo, I'm on wheel. You want some? Moo can't have roller skates. She'll have what? four broken legs and we can't afford any more vet. Do you want the other dogs to think she's poor and can't afford roller skates? Yes. Do you want them to get bullied? Yes, that's what I want. It's eight o'clock. We're in Bridgend. Glamorous Bridgend. Yeah. This glamorous Lex. Oh, we brought Lex back and we decided to go spoons. Yay, even though we've had one big meal already today, but you know, what the fuck, eh? Say bye-bye to the vlog. Thank you for coming to play. Sorry you're so tired. <laughs> Lex is knackered. We're dropping Lex off and now we're going to drive home. <laughs> we love you. Bye for Karen and Lexi. Nanai. Morning on Tuesday. Buddy's up. What? Buddy's up. It's Tuesday. It's 20 to 9. I've been awake for a while. I woke up about half six, quarter seven. I finished my book, I've looked on my phone for a bit, I've been downstairs a couple of times, popped back up, but I'm back in bed and I've got to get up and get dressed because I'm on the morning walk. And some people are ready to go, look at the grumpy face. <laughs> that grumpy face. <laughs> She's ready to go.
Yeah, so I'm going to get up and get dressed. Take the babies out for their walk. Yeah, take them for your walk. And um, come back, get some washing on the line. Do something with my hair. Get some organisation going in here. La la la, all the usual. And then I'm having lunch with Tammy later. I've got to go to the office. And I'll have lunch with Tammy later on. Um, just an ordinary quiet day after yesterday. Yesterday was a very busy day, a very long, busy day. Poor Lex was absolutely knackered by the time we actually dropped her off at home. And um, I was glad I had Natalie with me. Natalie and I took her home. And I was glad I had Natalie with me for the drive back again because it was someone to talk to rather than, you know what motorway driving's like if you're tired, you stare at the lights in front and you realise that you're not really concentrating the way you should be. So I was glad I had Natalie there to to keep me keep me going. <laughs> Um, Natalie's at work today, so she's on a very very long shift today. So, so yeah, pottering about. Yeah, so I might have to go to the bank actually. Yeah, all the usual run of the mill, work from homey homey stuff. I love you. <laughs> this may have got slightly out of hand. This Harry Potter tower is the pile of. Oh, I'll put them into bundles. They're not in bundles yet, as you can see. And I probably need to deal with this. That's the first job for today. <laughs> I believe this. Out of all of those, so I think there's a bin lorry something out of the road as well. Out of all of those, I do not have any Philosopher's Stones, any... Um, what have I not got? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight piles. And there are only eight videos, so what have I... How does it go? It goes... Oh, that's that's because that should be on that pile. Oh, that's a, that's a double. That's why that's not on that pile. Okay, confused myself even further. So I haven't got any Philosopher's Stones in cases. I've got a couple of spare discs in this pile here, but none in cases. So I've got... It goes Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, Hallows 1, Hallows 2. I haven't got any Philosopher's Stones. I have multitudes of everything else. So I only need to pick up from now Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and a couple of Chamber of Secrets. That's all I need to pick up and then I need to stop buying the damn things. Ridiculous that I can't do even one bundle out of all of these discs. There with Tammy who is broken. She is broken. She's got broken boo-boo. Sometimes. Somebody assaulted her at work. It's a vicious, <laughs> vicious, un, un, what's the word? Un, Provoke. Unprovoked assault <laughs> from another member of staff. With a um, freezer door. <laughs> with a freezer door. Squished her hand between a freezer door and a heavy till full of cash. And Tammy's got bruised knuckles and a possible torn tendon. I've got bruised ligaments and a possible torn tendon. Yeah, so she's chuffed to bits by that. As you can see, look at her chuffed to bits face. Let's put it like this. If this isn't off by before my new car comes, somebody's going to get beaten to dead death with an actual shovel. I might have to cut your gammon up. No, I managed with my burgers last night. I think I'll be alright. Gammon's right. a bit tougher than burgers. You might have to cut my food <laughs> I might have to cut her food up. You Feed might have you to like a that. small child. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's here all week. <laughs> I've been packing parcels now for two hours. It's still not finished. It's nearly finished, but it's not quite finished. For some reason today, it just seems to have taken far longer than usual. And I'm sick to bloody death of it. I'll be glad when it's over. Puff. Huff and puff. Good morning. It's Wednesday. It's about five past eight. I have been awake. Best part of an hour, I suppose, but not really functioning. It was a bad night's sleep. I got off to sleep beautifully. I took my sleep aid tablets. I got off to sleep beautifully easily. And I'd been asleep for maybe an hour and a half. And Natalie woke me because there was a spider in her bedroom. Uh, which she needed me to deal with because she's only 23. And by the time I had got up, dealt with said spider, I was wide awake. And I remained awake until two o'clock. I got back off to sleep by putting my audiobook on. And then I woke again and put my audiobook back on. And... Then I woke up and needed a loo, and yeah, it's just been not a good night's sleep. Not a good night's sleep at all. Um, I'm planning a kind of a homey day today. I've got plenty that I should be doing here. You know, downstairs needs an awful, awful lot of attention. The stairs themselves are disgusting. They really need cleaning. Um, when you've got three dogs, and two of them are very malty, the stairs seem to suffer. But he doesn't really malt at all. He's um He's got... He's got a wiry coat, and if he molts, he does it in his bed. It, you know, it works its way into his blankets, 
but he doesn't really molt around the house. But Kai, Kai drops massive clouds of fur everywhere, and Molly seems to be molting pretty much as well. So, so yeah, apart from going to the parcel shop, I'm not really planning on going very far today outside of the house. Full of water dogs. And, um, yeah, get some of this stuff done around here. That's, um, that's my plan for today. In an astonishing and completely unpredictable change of plan, I've come out to meet friends for breakfast. Who saw that coming? Bet you lot didn't. I've never successfully stayed in the house yet. It's about half past twelve. What started off as popping out for breakfast turned into quite a long chat with my mate, which is lovely. And um, I've driven home and it's just started hooking it down. I'm so glad I put that wash on the line before I went out this morning. I'm so glad I stirred my stumps and got that done. That was um, that was a real achievement. Yay! <laughs> Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I need to get on with housework and I don't feel in the mood now. Should have said no this morning, but I like this friend. I like all my friends. But, you know, I haven't seen this friend for a while and it was nice to hear from her and it was a nice unexpected treat to go and have breakfast with her. But, um, but now I've lost my motivation because I'm full of food. So. However, I did hope that it would be cooler today so that I could get on with the washing and uh, with the housework, not with the washing. And now it is cooler, so there's another excuse out the window. I need to do those stairs. I'll go and hoover the stairs and take people's laundry baskets upstairs, my own included, but also other people's. And I don't know what else, but I'll get something done. I'm sure it will. Stairs are done. Absolutely knackered. My least favourite job in the world, I think, is doing the stairs because it's just so bloody tiring. I can't kneel. I've got um, both knees are fucked, so I can't actually kneel. If I if I rest my knee for more than a couple of seconds, I regret it a great deal the next day. <laughs> so um, yeah, so it does make doing the stairs a bit difficult because it has to be done bending, and then that hurts my back. Oh hum, stairs are done. I think my room needs tackling next. And looking around me, I'm like, oh dear. This is next. It's um, about quarter past nine. I'm absolutely hanging. I'm so tired. I'm going to go to bed. I don't. I haven't achieved anything much. I've done ten drafts. I've tidied a bit of my bedroom and I cleaned the stairs. And I went to the parcel shop this morning, and that's it. That's that's my whole day. So um, quite why I'm so bloody knackered, I don't know. But it's been horrible, horrible weather here today as well. So that hasn't helped. Started off right this morning, and then it's chipped it there in all afternoon. So um, so yeah. I'm going to bed and tomorrow's Thursday. Hello! The time now is uh, 5 to 10. I have a new phone holder in the car. I think we might be back to the good old days of wobbly phone time. I know Sue's pa's a shame I'll be pleased about that. She used to like wobbly phone time. 
Um, I've still got the old phone holder and it still works really well for holding my phone just for using it as sat and charging, but it was at a weird angle for filming. So I thought I'd try this new one that really recommended on Instagram. Funnily enough, heavily recommended by the people who made it. <laughs> um, it turned out to come from China. It's very wobbly, isn't it? I'm not going to enjoy this. It'd be alright if I'm stationary, I suppose. Oh, yeah, it, it turned out to come from China, which it didn't say that in its advert. And I was... Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, some guy's trying to reverse into me. I've failed to find the gears. Good God. Bear with, people. Bear with. Bloody taxi drivers. I don't understand why taxi drivers drive so badly. Surely that's your livelihood you're putting at risk, isn't it? Oh... I have no idea what I'm saying. Apart, it came from China, it took forever to arrive. I had a confusion over whether I'd paid for delivery or not. I don't know what the hell was going on. Anyway, it's here and it's um, wibbly wobbly, but ho oh, bloody hum. I'm going to the office. I've got, uh, it's not even a headache. It's just not a very happy head. You know, that kind of heavy head. Might just be a bit. I might just be a bit low, low sugar because I haven't had anything to eat yet today, and it is already ten o'clock. I've been up since six. I haven't eaten, so I might just have a little bit of low blood sugar and something to eat or sort that out. So yeah, I'm popping to the office. I'm going to drop some stuff on, pick some stuff up. I'm not staying there. I'm not doing anything while I'm there because I need to be at the parents by eleven, and it's already five to ten, and they live on the other side of town. Hooray! Oh, and I've got to go to the bank as well. And then it's, um, take the parents shopping. It's a nice day. It's a lovely day for trekking around Tesco's, looking at things you're not going to buy. Parents and I are out for lunch, and I've got um, a steak ciabatta with some amazing chips. And we're, at, we're at, I don't know where I am. What's it called? The Star. Star. We're at the Star in Tickenham. Yeah. Dad's got ham, egg and chips. Got some nice fake flowers. Yeah. Mum's got ham, egg and chips and a very pretty yeah. salad. Yeah. And yeah, I've got a gorgeous looking steak ciabatta. Mom. Wiggle cam. <laughs> I am on my way to pick up my father. Um, he wants to go and sign up for his German class. This is somewhat of a sore point with me since I discovered this year. My father's been taking German classes for 20 years. This seems perfectly reasonable to me, although I did wonder how he could possibly not speak enough German by now. Well, I've discovered now that he has been taking the same class for 20 years. The same course. In other words, every September he goes back with a new, completely different group of students and learns to say, Guten Tag, ich heiße Dick, ich komme aus Bristol, and all the, all the standard basic GCSE German stuff that he has now learnt 20 years running. 20 years he has taken this class, this course, 20 times. The same course. Enable him to be able to retake this course, which he has now taken 20 times. I have to travel to the other side of town on a Tuesday morning, collect him, bring him back to this side of town, which is where the damn course is. Uh, hang around two hours and then reverse the process to take him home again. And this feels like a stupendously unbelievable waste of my time. I don't think I'd mind so much if he was learning a different course. If he was, if he was just enriching his mind or whatever, I don't think I'd mind so much. But this feels like such a waste. Um, <clears throat> there are several personality traits that my father exhibits, which lead me to believe that had he been born 
in present times he would get some kind of spectrum diagnosis and I'm, I'm speaking very carefully because I'm not trying to offend anyone and I realize there is a tendency for everyone to go oh yeah you must be Asperger's you must be autistic but there are several personality traits my father exhibits that indicate something of that nature and I think this is one of them this in his head I go to German on Tuesdays and if the only class on Tuesday in German is this one then that's the one I'll take because he goes to German on Tuesdays and it's set in stone and, and there are lots of things that he does that are like that. So, so yeah, I'm on my way now to pick him up so that he can sign up for this class and part of me is like, why are you, why are you doing this? And I don't really know. I don't know. I don't know the answer. In other news, um, Anthony is moving into a van. I don't, oh God, I'm sorry about wobble cam. Um, I'll call it jelly cam. I'm, I'm going to name it something. Um, Anthony's moving into a van, so he's in the process of stripping his bedroom out. And when that's done, when that's stripped back, I'm going to decorate it with the wallpaper that I had bought for my bedroom, which never got around to being put up, to being put up, sorry. And um, yeah, I'm going to redecorate that room, and then I'll move into there as my bedroom. And then eBay, the eBay stuff will come home from the office and move into one of the other bedrooms, and Natalie will have what is currently my bedroom. I'll move the eBay into Natalie's bedroom. Natalie is, in all her life, she's never had the biggest bedroom, so it's her turn, her turn to have the biggest bedroom. eBay will have the second biggest bedroom, which is what Natalie currently has. And I will have the tiny little kind of box room, which is enough, really, because all I need in my room is a bed and my clothes and a television. So um, my books are downstairs. I don't have a lot of other stuff. I have a box of makeup. I'm not much of a stuff person. A lot of the stuff I do have, I could quite happily get rid of. So, so yeah. So that's that's the oh parcel shop. So, sorry, nearly drove past the parcel shop because I was so busy yatting. So yeah, that's that's how the future's looking. Um, yeah. Excuse me, I want to go in the parcel shop. Okay, parcel one done. And uh, yeah. I've got two other big boxes for the UPS shop, but I will do those. Um, I'll do those at some point later today because I'll, I'll need to go back past the UPS shop because I think I've also got to pick up sacks today. So um, yeah, sorry, you're, you've gone on an angle. How did you manage that? There we go. So yeah, wobble cam is um, going strong. I think it's quite secure. It's just that it wobbles. Does that make sense? So yeah, um, so it's quite exciting. Anthony moving out, he's 28, he's lived at home all his life. He's been very unhappy about living at home for quite a long time now. He's wanted to strike out on his own and he likes the idea of van life. So off you go, my son, give it a crack. It means that I will save, I think there's a wasp in the car. That's fine, as long as he just stays on his side. Um, it means I'll save 200 pounds a month on what I'm paying for the room rent, but it means I'll be down a big chunk on what Anthony pays for his share of household expenses. So, swings and roundabouts, swings and roundabouts. I will be a little bit worse off. However, I will gain from having to stop back at home again and from not having to do those damn office stairs. So, I was very, very grateful that the office came up when it did. I needed it because of what they were doing in the roof and all the rest of it. I can't put the stuff back in the loft. Um, my knees just won't do the ladder anymore. Um, so yeah, this, this, is a, this is a good solution. It means I can bring the stock home. It means I can... I'll probably do more work because at the moment, because of the difficulty in getting up the stairs to the office and how exhausted it makes me and whatever, and how hot it is in there and all the, all the other excuses that you come up with, I go there as little as possible and I spend as little time as possible there which means I'm not doing as much work as I ought to really so uh, so yeah hopefully I'll be more productive when the stuff's back at home again we shall see we shall see maybe maybe there's nothing on this bloody earth that will make me a productive person maybe I'm just destined to be an unproductive waste of space but cheerful isn't it anyway I'm going to construct the road so I will speak to you guys later came to Dots with Dad for a cup of coffee and there's a tiny baby duckling, just one, 
a couple of females and one baby pottering about. There were some baby moor hens, but they were a bit older than this one. They were half grown. Here he is, bobbing around, bless him. <laughs> well, I picked up sacks. I think there's like 11 or 12 of them today. So um, this is my sorting station where I sit and work out what I'm keeping and what's moving on. This is my to be sorted pile, which is um, towering over Buddy down there. Ho hum, onwards and upwards. Good morning, it's Saturday. I've been up and had a shower. I got back into bed just to sit here and dry off a bit. I was thinking I should get up and do some work. And then somebody came and got comfy. Didn't you? Yeah, you did. Now I don't feel like I can get up and disturb her. So I might have to stay here for a bit, might I? Yeah, I was going to get up and do some misting, but I might just have to stay here for a while instead. Okay, it's um five to ten. I've semi-straightened my hair. I say semi-straightened because the back is actually still wet. So as that dries, that's going to bush out and it's going to need more straightening later. But I've done enough to make it presentable to leave the house because it was terrible. Um, I've also bagged up, let me just turn this around, look, I've bagged up the stuff that I'm keeping from the sacks. So I've got about 60 to 70 items that I am keeping to list. And then there are still masses that downstairs that go on to um, to other people who list them, um, to whom I sell in bulk. Um, yes, yeah, so that's um, that stuff downstairs will be moved on, but it needs boxing and I don't have enough boxes yet. I'm hoping Ryan's going to grab me some boxes from work today, he's certainly going to have a look for me. And I think I'm going out in a second to take Natalie to her rehearsal. Um, James wants to look at snakes. There's a snake shop at the road, so James wants to look at snakes. So we're going to go and look at snakes, I think. And um, I've got to go to the office at some point. I know. Every day I go, I've got to go to the office. And then quite often I come back, I didn't go to the office. But I probably will today. Probably. Probably. Okay, well, I popped to be in queue, where a very nice man gave me some empty boxes, which I need for boxing some stuff up. By the time I came out of being q it was absolutely issing it down, and now I'm wet. So that has put the tin lid on my plan to go to the office, because I don't want to go to the office, now I'm all wet and soggy. And let's face it, I was already leaning towards not going to the office today, as we heard this morning when I first discussed the... Uh, situation. So I'm going to go home instead, uh, use these boxes for the purpose which I collected them for. Um, maybe get some listing done this afternoon. Definitely need to do some listing. I'm behind. I've got stuff left over from last week's car boot sale. I've got stuff from the week before when I bought the Polly Pocket that hasn't been listed yet and that's taken up a lot of space in my house. So I'll crack on with listing this afternoon which is the best thing to do on a wet rainy day anyway sit at home and get shit done and then tomorrow I will have to go to the office in the afternoon I, if this weather continues tomorrow's car boot I won't go to trench because there's absolutely no point going to a big soggy field if it's raining I'll go to Easter Compton because as we've said a hundred times before that's mostly indoors so that one's fine on a wet day but I won't expect great shakes out of it if it's raining. So, um, so yeah, hopefully today I'll have the chance to crack on and get a, quite a lot of the backlog done. When I say the backlog, I refer to the piles of stuff that are around the desk, not the um, backlog of clothing stock which I've got, which is starting to seem insurmountable. <laughs> um, so my my death piles are separated into two distinct types. The stuff that I'll probably get around to listing in the next couple of weeks and the stuff that I'm pretending I haven't got and hoping I'll never remember. Um, the second pile, unfortunately, is quite large. But it's nice to build a backlog over the summer months in a way because in the winter when there aren't as many car boot sales and the ones that are a bit poor, it means I haven't got to rely on charity shops for stock. So I tell myself that this, this big back backlog 
of um, clothing stock is not really a bad thing. I'll still have stuff to list during the winter. I tell myself that and I tell myself over and over and over again until I believe it. <laughs> so yeah, that's, um, that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to go home, crack on with some listings and uh, see, what I can, see what I can achieve, see if I can get. I'd like to get the front room tidy again because it still contains quite a lot of sacks. Um, so that needs dealing with. Yeah, that's my plan. Which excuse me being out of breath, I've just plowed up the stairs. Here's my dinner. I've got Uncle Ben's vegetable rice, sweet and sour chicken with cauliflower and broccoli, which I've just knocked up. I know it looks like an awful lot of chicken, but actually all the cauliflower and broccoli is sort of in there and it all looks the same. So yeah, that's my dinner, which I'm now going to put myself around the outside of. Hello. Oh, it's about, no, 10 to 10. A bit very spooky because by the light of the bedside light, the roof over look spooky. It still doesn't get any better, does it? I'm better off in the gloom. Um, it's about 10 to 10. I'm about to go to bed. I realise that for some of you, that's really early, but I'm not really a late night person. Um, what have I achieved today? I got all of the outgoing bulk clothing boxed, so that's that just sits on the dining table now and goes out one box at a time. I have managed about 16 to 20 drafts, I think. And um, not a lot, not a great deal else. My friend Debbie came over and we had a nice chat. And I've done a fair amount of thinking and that's, <laughs> that's about all I've managed today. But, you know, some days I can't even think, so that's that's good. I'm going into bed now because it's car boot in the morning and I want to be up bright and early for that. I'm going to watch an episode of Friends. I'm nearly finished. I've been watching it from the beginning and I'm on series 10, episode 1. So this is the final series, isn't it? So yeah, nearly done. Nearly finished. And um, I don't know what I'm going to watch after this. Yeah, so it's time for bed and it's car boot in the morning. See you tomorrow. Good morning. It's 7am on Sunday. It is a very nice morning. The sun is just coming up over there. Where's the... Oh God, I can't, I can't angle the camera properly. The sun's just coming up over there somewhere. Look, can you see some sun coming up through the trees? There we go. I say just come up, it's obviously been up a while, but it's rising up on that side. I am out with the dogs, I'm sat on my bit of plumbing. Well, I'm out with two of the dogs. The other dog shot past me a minute ago, so she's not far away. <laughs> she's doing um, massive laps, here she comes. She's doing massive laps of the park this morning today. She obviously felt that she had a bit of energy to burn off. And she's gone past me about four times now, at about 82, 82 miles an hour. <laughs> She's also chasing birds. She very much likes chasing birds. I don't know what the hell I'll do if she ever catches one. I haven't, thought, I haven't thought that far ahead. She doesn't seem to catch them. She's not very good at climbing trees. So. Yeah, so we're all out. The plod squad's out in force. Molly's not plodding. Molly's on a Molly's on one this morning, but the other two are plodding. I'm sat on my plumbing. I'm going to the car boot in a minute. Debbie over the road. Deb Stevens is coming with me this morning. Um, I don't know which one I'm going to, whether I'm going to either or both. I don't know. I wasn't going to do trench because it was been a bit of a soggy few days, but it's nice and clear this morning, so maybe I will do trench after all. Don't know, don't know, don't know. For the first time in about six months, I'm a bit chilly. Now, admittedly, it's 7am and I might have sleeve a t-shirt, but um, due to the time of life, I've not been cold for months. I've been so fucking hot, so it's actually quite, um, quite a novelty to feel a bit chilly this morning. Um, so yeah, car boot, live stream... I'm supposed to go to the office at some point, but Natalie's informed me that she's got delivery coming between 7am and 7pm, and will I be in this afternoon because she'd like to go out, so... I don't know whether I'll make it to the office. I need to go to the office today. Otherwise, tomorrow will be very, very long and difficult, so... Difficult, difficult, lemon difficult. Yeah, see you in a bit. I'll say good morning to the vlog. Morning! <laughs> me and Debbie are off to the boot, Morning, vlog. Oh god, look how fat my arms are. Anyway, we're off to the oh car boots. So, uh, Debbie's just on a night shift, mind. Looking fresh as a daisy. <laughs> I'll nap on the way. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll record you snoring if you do, so you've been warned. Uh, yeah, good for you, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody's want to hear that. Hot rod complains a bit enough as it is. <laughs>
We're at the Kyber Boot Sale. Hunton is here selling this morning, so I'm stall sitting. Which is very manly stuff. Very, very manly stall while he goes and gets coffee. So I'm just uh, taking the weight off. Debbie's gone back to the car with a load of kids' toys that she's bought for her grandchildren. But yeah, I'm just sitting here enjoying the sun for a minute. Filled my trolley with um, quite a lot of mugs, funnily enough. Quite a lot of mugs in there. Oh dear. Good evening. I can't get decent light because the sun's coming from that direction through the window. Um, let's try that. It's seven-ish and I've just realised I haven't filmed anything since this morning but then there hasn't been much to film. I've got a load of washing on the line. Four loads today in fact. Drafted some listings. Don't seem to have achieved anything much else today and yet I seem to have felt very busy. Strange. So yeah, um, I just realised that I need to wind the vlog up now otherwise I can't edit it and get it uploading ready for you guys to watch it tomorrow so so um yes i'm gonna say goodbye um hopefully next week will be a little bit more interesting i'm not sure how or why but i think feel like this week's been really really dull for you to watch so sorry about that sorry about my dull life and um molly and i will be back with you tomorrow won't we moo we'll be back tomorrow for a whole new vlog a whole new vlog. Maybe not. Bye.